Okay, this is uh, part three of how to make a backup power supply to use during electrical blackouts. I think the burning smell was just coming from that bulb itself. I hope that's all it was. So I'll turn it on now and then I'll turn off the bulb and put the 60 watt one in. And we'll see what happens when this runs by itself. So it's on, it's on, and the charger's on. Hope that make a difference. No. I think I smelled over here when I get near it, maybe. No, I don't think so, but we'll turn it off. and see what's going on here ah it's a little higher 11.84 both dc i'll change that bulb <clears throat> to a 60 watt bulb this one here is a 40 watt bulb We'll put a 60 water in there and see if that makes any difference. Yeah, this bulb got hot pretty fast. Okay, let's hope I don't have some kind of mishap. So maybe maybe it'd be safer if I shut off the battery charger. Let's see what happens. Okay, here goes. Oh, nice and bright. Now oh, what's happening here? 1173. Not much change. Now I'll turn this on. Now it's charging. Oh, down to 11.67 so the larger <laughs> larger the device will cause the voltage to go down a bit I guess Oh, I'm not sure I can smell that again. I don't want to have some kind of electrical fire or something. Because I do not have property insurance right now. No, it doesn't smell like it's come from the bulb. I can't smell much now. It's just my imagination, I think. <laughs> but we'll turn her off. And in this video, <clears throat> I get a larger device. Let's see if I got 100 watt or somewhere. Okay, thanks for watching.